people, how you living, how you breathing. <sighs> it's Monday. Enough said. I don't want to go to work. And not like, a, oh, I just don't want to go to work because I don't want to go to work. I don't go to, want to go to work because I hate this job. They like, okay, so anyone in managerial, y'all will understand. When you are a supervisor um, of any kind, when you decide to take on that role, you take on everything besides your, not only just yourself, but everyone else underneath you. Obviously the point of managerial, you're managing the people. So, um, I've been in a managerial role or supervisory role for, how old am I? I'm 32. So, 26, 18 years, okay? 18 years I have been in a role where I've had to focus a large amount of my attention on somebody else. Their problems, their training, their development, their everything, on top of getting my own work done. And somehow in the process, have to find time to get my development for what I want for myself accomplished. Guess what? It hasn't, okay? I have had to deal with so many other people's BS and giving out energy that I never should give out to people undeserving of it. And it's at this junction in the game where I'm over it. Like, I am over worrying about you. I am over worrying about your bullshit. I'm over worrying about your development, your personal life, your freaking kids, why you're late, why I gotta write you up, why you're not in uniform, why are you not doing your job? Like, I'm over it. I don't think I've ever been more over it. But I'm going to go in here because God woke me up another day. And I'm going to smile. And I'm going to keep it pushing. Pray for me. You know, I've been at work applying to new jobs and get a phone call back for a pre-screening interview within the five minutes that you apply for a job. I have. Because <sighs> I gotta get up out of here. <sighs> Y'all have a blessed one. <laughs> Welcome back to Cece's Ratchet Kitchen. <laughs> so, anyway, today was terrible. I don't wanna talk about it. Burp sucks, as always. So, anyway. What we're making today is unstuffed peppers, which is literally all of the combinations of a stuffed pepper, excluding the egg, oh my God, and everything so chopped up more in a, I guess, saute bowl of some sort. So we got my red, my orange, and yellow peppers. I did extra peppers because since it's an unstuffed pepper, you can add way more veggies than you would into a standard stuffed pepper. Um, I got my white rice. We got pound of ground turkey that we're gonna season really well. I use the non-sponsored um, Francesco Rinaldi meat flavored sauce. And then I normally only cook with yellow onions, but my hubby bubby, when he bought me a bag of onions, he didn't realize what onions it was. So I have a little bit of my yellow onion left and a vadol, a vadoli onion. That's how you pronounce it. I don't really care. So, <laughs> so we get in that tagavo. We cook and saute these down really, really good. And so they're nice and soft. Not super soft because what we're gonna do we're gonna cop, uh, chop up our onions, throw that in there so that cooks down with it. Do a little salt and pepper. Then we're gonna throw in the ground turkey. 
and that's gonna cook down. We're gonna season that really well. And then we'll add the rice to mix in with the onions, peppers, and ground turkey and the tomato sauce last because I may not need this whole thing. When you're doing stuffed peppers, you always wanna cover your peppers and have additional in the pan. So I end up using the whole pot, but there's a lot of times that that meat sauce ends up getting thrown out and not used. So, um, sorry, my husband's playing NBA 2K. Wives, don't buy your husbands that game. Pain in the ass. It's worse than the last one. <laughs> anyway, so I will uh, update y'all in a minute. You got the onions in. The ground turkey's cooking down. If any of you guys have seen my ratchet kitchen before, you know my husband likes things very well done. So this is going to cook a lot more. Um, get some brown on it. And then... Um, I'm going to add the rice and I'm going to let the rice, so the rice I did not cook all the way to completion, reason being because the juices of the ground turkey and the peppers cooking, the rice is going to soak up like a ton of that. Um, so that's why I didn't cook it all the way, but I mean it's pretty much done. You can eat it the way it is depending on how you like your rice. Um, if you like it more firm versus soft or what have you. Um, so I'm going to cook this down a whole lot until it's nice and dark and has some color on it. Mm. I just accidentally taste the piece and the peppers taste amazing. Um, it does need a little bit more salt though. A little bit more salt. Cousin. Not seasoning salt. Regular salt. So I will let you guys know what's going on. Um, I will give you guys an update in a few minutes. All right, kids, we're at the last step. Rice is mixed in and it's soaked up a lot of that juice. I'm just letting it stiffen up a little bit more. Yummy in the tummy. And then we're gonna add some of this guy. We're gonna do little to little because I really don't want to oversaturate because it's unnecessary and I can use the sauce at another time. So, let's mix and see what we're looking like here. But you don't want to have too little tomato sauce. That's why I'm going to go little by little. And honestly, this looks relatively perfect, which is a, a little more than a half. So not a quarter, but a little more than a quarter, I guess I should have said. Um, Wang, shush. Now, in this situation, because I got enough sauce, it's nice and stiff. I can go and you really want to sauce it up, you can add like andouille sausage, shrimp, broccoli, spinach, like you can add all of that. I don't have all of that <laughs> right now, <laughs> but next time, um, because I don't like spaghetti. I don't make spaghetti, judge your mama. I don't make spaghetti. So this is my version of spaghetti, I guess, with a twist. <laughs> um, so. That's it, that's all she wrote. I most likely will put cheese on, once I put it in bowls, I'll probably put cheese on top. That's literally it, kids. Turn it off, let it simmer. It's gonna stiffen up a little bit more um, and really soak up, you know, the rice is just gonna continue to soak up the juice and the pasta sauce and yeah. Super yummy in the tummy. But anyway, like I said, don't want to talk about work. It was whack. I'm home now. I got dinner done. Um, I'm, I was saying I'm, I was going to make some tuna and take that to lunch. But now that I see how much is in that bowl, I may take some of that for lunch and then just make um, some additional veggies on the side. Like I have a bag of French green beans, French style green beans. And I may just saute up with some garlic and throw that on the side with a little bit of that. So I'm not eating too much um, starch. But yeah, I hope, thank you guys for watching. I hope you had an amazing day. I appreciate the love. Peace.